All right, guys, welcome back. It's been quite a while since I made a video, but today, uh, today we're starting a new project, and it's uh, for the garage. So this is my new garage. It's not my ultimate shop, but uh, this is what I've got for at least the next little while. Now, the issue uh, for today is uh, storage here. So typically the Chevelle goes here. I usually have the quad uh, parked right behind the Chevelle, which it, it fits, but it's pretty tight. And then over on this side, uh, there's two daily drivers that get parked. So this side is basically not for the toys, and on this side, uh, more for the toys. So the uh, project for today is to install a four post lift. In preparation, we've already had a high lift kit installed on the garage door. So the uh, rails got moved up and a side mount lift master was placed uh, and that works really well. So that'll give us the access. It's a 12 foot ceiling and uh, four post lift is mostly going to be for storage or basically to increase storage space. So Chevelle will be lifted up and then the quad or whatever vehicle will be parked underneath and hopefully it'll also give me a little bit more space in this kind of quasi workshop. I'm about to go pick up the lift. And I'm going to use the flatbed trailer. I had to take the airboat off. It's been quite a while since the airboat's been off the trailer, which makes me think it's also probably time to start it up and get this airboat finished. It's about 95% of the way done. But uh, for today, I'll be using the trailer to pick up the lift. So this is the lift as received. All the components are all kind of just wrapped together and there's these little steel foot plates at the front and back so presumably all that gets unbolted all the components are inside I'm gonna read the instructions and then uh, get started Okay, so this was everything that was in that kind of crate package. There's a couple ramps, hardware's in the boxes, a bunch of the other parts. Incidentally, these are the welded kind of feet for the packaging. I'll reuse that metal for something down the road, I'm sure. And then of course the four posts and then these ramps. Unloading it wasn't too bad. For the most part, one person can lift everything. The exception is this ramp here, the one that has the hydraulic cylinder in it. It's really quite heavy. That is, uh, for two people, is still a pretty heavy job. We ended up using a hydraulic j uh, floor jack just to roll one end of it. So aside from that though, uh, overall not too bad. The cables look kind of complicated, but they're not that bad. Basically, there's one big cylinder that moves uh, this combined pulley here and basically just pulls in all the cables. Okay, so there you go. The lift is put together, it's all done, it's functioning well. I didn't film everything step by step, uh, partly because I just wanted to get it done, partly because this was the first time I put a lift together, so I wouldn't really be able to give you much tips. But uh, now that I've done it once, uh, I would do it again. Maybe next time if I do it again, I'll actually uh, film it. I learned some things along the way. Overall, it's uh, actually pretty easy to put together, it just bolts together basically just big Lego. One thing you may notice is I have it installed in the garage basically backwards right now where typically the controls are over here and you would drive onto the ramps from that side. I have it turned right around right now basically just because I wanted easier access to the controls. I could always move it around later if I move it to a different garage or even in this one I could swing it around uh, it's not bolted down, so it would be, you know, a bit of work to move it, but it is certainly possible. For now, though, anyway, I'm going to uh, 
drive on from this side and see how that goes.